Hello and welcome to the Orthodox Oasis. My name is Jerome or Hiranimus. So, Final Fantasy 16 is coming out on June 22nd, and I wanted to go over some reasons I think this game should be one you check out and possibly buy. I will refer to the Final Fantasy series as FF throughout this video, just so you know. Final Fantasy 16 is the latest mainline game out from Square Enix, and after the disaster that was F15, we really want this one to be successful. Welcome to the world of Valisthea, a land blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals, but their light is beginning to fade. You play as Clive Rossfield, with his pupper best friend Torgal, as you explore many countries throughout Valisthea and search for your brother. All while political intrigue grows as nations vie for power and powerful creatures as Ekons wreak devastation. Check out the official website down below to learn more about the countries and the word of Valisthea. Final Fantasy games are always well-crafted worlds full of wondrous sights, interesting characters, and beautiful set pieces. I will always look back fondly on my eco-warrior adventures in Final Fantasy VII, my dangerous pilgrimage in FF10, and my grand political maneuvering in FF12, some of the best stories I've ever had the privilege of experiencing. We were all a little hurt with the launch and ultimate letdown of Final Fantasy XV, which experienced a tough development cycle. This FF installment looks to have had a better management and vision to give us an experience like none other. I can't help but be excited for the story and world that Square Enix has crafted for us this time. So there's your reason to think about buying this one. Final Fantasy games have had far more hits than misses, and the adventures you partake upon are like nothing else in the world of storytelling. Wait, did, did you need another reason? All right, let me, let me check my notes here. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy has some of the best music ever. So there's your second reason. Gaming music is the single most underrated and underlistened to music still. Movies get all their attention for their soundtracks all the time. And my goodness, it is beyond time for video games to get their credit. At the forefront, often leading the pact for the best video game music is the Final Fantasy series. Masayoshi Soken returns to manhandle our ears for Final Fantasy 16. After all his hard work with FF14 Online over all these years, Man, the amount of work that has gone into Final Fantasy XIV and its expansions over the years. I'll link the official soundtrack for FF14 Online A Realm Reborn. Go check it out because it is so good. I will also link two of my favorite songs from that soundtrack as well. Final Fantasy has never dropped the ball when it comes to its music, even in the less favorite games of these series. So you have no reason to think the official soundtrack will not serenade your ears this time as well. Okay, two good reasons down, but I'm not done. Let's talk about price and options and value for your money. Yeah, it's got a steep price of $70. That is the new standard price for video games. I always recommend a $2 price for every hour played to get your money's worth. And I play games more than the average person, so I even go for $1 per hour played myself. Final Fantasy games have always had a nice long playthrough with leveling, storytelling, and just all kinds of extra stuff to do. I am pretty confident that you will easily get your money's worth on this one. Even if you manage to clear the game under the time limit, the stories are always so good and it's worth a second playthrough eventually. There are other editions you can get your hands on here. There is a deluxe edition for $100, which comes with a cloth world map of Valisthea. I love fictional maps. And a steel book case. There is also a collector's edition for $350 which comes with an Ifrit statue and a set of eight pins and a digital blood sword item for the game. All that being said, an RPG is one of the rare cases where I see a $70 price tag and shrug my shoulders because I know I'm going to get my money's worth far more often than not. I'm going to write this one down as kind of a half reason to get the game. Let's look over the combat. Final Fantasy and Square Enix have been going through what some would call a much needed update in the last half decade. While I personally enjoy the turn-based combat of older Final Fantasy titles, I completely understand why some may be put off by that system and its variants. The experimentation via FF15 and FF7 Remake, alongside with some of the side games, has allowed Square to bring this game into the modern age, full of action-packed combat. This game looks to deliver on that promise easily. They have even implemented some easy mode options for those looking for a more story-based progression. 
That way you're not tied down by needing to level up or look for better equivalent or the equivalent in this game. I myself bring those levels on, baby. I am ready to level up. I'll have the gameplay trailer down below for you to check out. I think this update of the combat opens up the FF series to a whole new market of players, and it gives me just another reason to say you should look into investing into the Final Fantasy 16. The final thing I wanted to check out is the ESRB rating. This Final Fantasy is just the third FF game to ever receive an M for mature rating. The ESRB has given the game the following content tags, blood and gore, partial nudity, sexual themes, strong language, and violence. I recommend you check out the ESRB website down below and read through the summary yourself. I just want to point out a few things I think you should know. Having watched a few trailers, while I don't think they're going to go full Games of Thrones with blood and gore, there's still going to be more than there ever was before, for sure. Strong language is included with characters expressing their displeasure and pain with harsh language. And the SRB has noted sexual themes, including prostitution. I'm not sure what that entails totally, but I just wanted to make sure that you are aware of that. I will be playing through the game and will make a review when I'm finished. So if you have anything that worries you, feel free to check out my review when it's out where I will go into more detail about what I experienced through my playthrough. I personally think there is a fine line in storytelling where things can be shown or told that can be considered mature but respectful. Though it is quite easy to cross that line and just include totally unnecessary things just for the sake of being edgy. Storytelling should always be on the front of content added into a game. Mature content just for the sake of its maturity always makes me wince. All that being said, Keep yourself informed and make informed decisions on what's acceptable for yourself. For sure, this is a more mature game that will be darker than previous FF games. Let's wrap this up. FF storytelling is top notch with amazing world and characters. The FF series music is always amazing. The combat has been updated for a modern audience. The price point is good for an RPG. And I hope that the immature rating is mature and respectful towards storytelling. With any release, I of course recommend to never pre-order a game for any reason and to wait to see if it's running well and not full of bugs. FOMO can't find you. FOMO can't hurt you. I will, I will of course be playing this game and you can join me on my Twitch channel to join me live and hang out. I will most likely have some highlights as well here on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video and think it was useful, please hit that like button. If you think it missed the mark, hit the unlike button. Either way, stop by the comments and let me know what you think about Final Fantasy 16. Are you excited for it or not? Also, what's your favorite Final Fantasy game? Let me know down below. As always, this is Jerome or Hieronymus from the Orthodox Oasis, and if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things.